Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. I'm Sam Weintraub, and I'm in New York right now, and I'm about to go to a magic store and do what you would do in a magic store, get cards and props and stuff. So, stay tuned. Hi everyone, um, I'm back from the store and I'm at my grandparents' house where we're currently staying while we're in New York, so... Let's see what we got. I got, we went to Tannen's Magic Store. If I can find a link to their website, if they have one, I'll put it in the description. So I got a mystery box. Um, I got this trick called Rubik's Cube in a glass or in bottle. It was a very cool trick. We, I will unbox that. I guess this is going to be an unboxing video. I got these cards. Um, I got a coin trick. I got the Chinese sticks trick, which is a really cool trick. And a shirt. Oh, I just got it upside down. Ta-da, shirt. It might be backwards, I don't know. So first, um, let's do the mystery box first. Let me clear all the other stuff out of the way. And now let's start with the mystery box. It looks so big, but it's really not that big. So let me get something I can open it with. I knew it'd come in handy bringing my pocket knife. Oh, I need to cut right there. Okay. Let me show you what's inside. So far, there's this paper here. Um, there's a packet. Ooh, got more cards. There's a sort of packet for um, profiter. I don't know what this is, but we'll see. Um, another book, The Magic of Jonathan Friedman, the musical. I've never heard of it, but we'll see what it is. There's a sticker in here. It says Tannen's Magic Shop. And more paper, wow. Very generous. So how this works is I'm going to take a look at each thing and then I'll come back to you once I've learned how to perform the trick. And I'm not going to dim, uh, I'm not going to demonstrate how to do these tricks because like all of these tricks you'll need these props for and you can learn how to do it with the props. So. I'll see you soon. And we're back, and now I've learned how to do the trick. So first, I have a Rubik's Cube. Let me slide that back so you can see it better. And I also have an empty jar. So, I think you can tell where I'm going with this already. I'm going to put the cube in the jar. So I'm going to take my cube inside the bag and I take my jar and also put it inside the bag and I can do a little magic here not big enough for only one cube and one jar or not big enough for a cube and a jar 
is big enough for one shot. The cube is now inside the jar. This is a real cube. It's not just like a bunch of little pieces I can pour in and out. Even if it was a bunch of little pieces I can pour in and out, that's that would still be pretty neat. But anyway, this is a real cube. It can sort of turn inside the jar, but not much. So yeah. And I can just crumple up the rest of the bag. Get rid of that. And yeah, now the cube is inside the jar. And now I'm going to learn how to do a coin trick. So we'll see how it goes. And yeah, stay tuned. Okay, and we're back. And this trick is called the black and white surprise. We've got the black chip and the white chip. If we cover them up, then they magically switch places. The white one is in this hand, the black one is in this hand. Wow! Yeah, I know what you're thinking. They're double-sided. But if you think that's easy to figure out, you might also like the green chip. And if you like that, you'll also like the blue chip. The red one's pretty cool as well. And then there's the yellow one. And that is the black and white surprise. Um, snap, crackle, and pop. Okay. Um, let me figure out which one I should learn now. You know what? Maybe I'll just review these cards. So, these are cards. They're the Hollingworth playing cards. And let's see how they function. Not the greatest at opening these card packages. I'll put a link in the description for these cards. If you've ever been to Disney World, these really remind me of like the Hollywood Tower Hotel or at Disneyland. Is that still there? I could have sworn I heard that the Tower of Terror was torn down at Disneyland. Anyway. Ooh, look at this. These are pretty nice. They're smooth. This one's just got a blank white side to it. I'll try and figure out why. Um, here's the two jokers. It's got a person shaking someone's hand while holding a card behind their back. There is a double-sided card, a plain white one and a double-sided card. And maybe I'm giving away like some special secrets. If I am, be sure to insult me in the comments. Oh wait, they're turned off. They're really cool though. They look like they would be like a really old deck of cards. Like an antique deck of cards. I really like them. Like, they're a very nice. They're nice. Um, words not coming. They're nice cards. Okay. And the box is like made out of paper and stuff. Sorry for all the crinkling. The box is like paper with like 
gold foil on it to be shiny. I doubt it's real gold. So, um, I think I'll also do these cards and then I will take a look at Profiteer. I don't know what it is. It might be reversed. If you'd seen Gravity Falls, this reminds me of Bill Cipher a whole lot. And first I'll review these cards. These ones came in the mystery box. Eh. I told you I'm not good at opening these. And in case you didn't know, like, there's this little tab you can pull out on the side of these so you're not, like, picking at the top of the wrapper, like, like this. That usually is why people have a lot of trouble, but there's, like, a little tab you can pull and it goes all the way around and then you can just slide the packaging right off. These are raspberry black sinus cards. Designed by Mark Ventosa. Um, yeah. I really don't like breaking the seal on cars just because, like, it's so pretty. Ooh, wow. Here's these jokers. The Ace of Spades is pretty cool. It doesn't even show a spade. It just says Ace of Spades. They don't slide as smoothly as this deck does. Just little pieces of plastic all over the place. The face cards look pretty cool. This is a very nice deck of cards. Okay, so now I'm going to see what Profiteer even is. And it, yeah, we'll just see what it does. So far with all the other tricks, like cube in a bottle and these ones like they don't have paper instructions for how to do the trick they've all just like had some sort of link you've got to go to eh, to watch a video on how to do it and like i think videos are great because like they're easier to understand in terms of like figuring out the trick what is this it's a little packet anyway um yeah i like that but i just wish they had paper instructions in there too because like not everyone is connected to the internet or has a hotspot or a cellular service so yeah just had paper instructions, please. Alright, so now, let's see what Profiteer is. Hey everyone. So, I looked at the Profiteer trick, and, um, I can't really do it right now, because I'm at my grandparents' house, and to set up the trick, you need a bunch of materials, like rubber cement, and scissors and stuff like that so i'll like if it isn't too long then i'll include a clip of me doing it at home at the end of the video but if the video is like starting to get to be over 20 minutes then i'll just make a separate video where i demonstrate this probably in the YouTube short or something. So instead, we'll do the Chinese sticks. 
I've seen this done on the internet before by other magicians and we're gonna I'm gonna learn it I, why did I say we I'm not gonna demonstrate how to do this like these are like some very secretive tricks like some of these because like you've some of them have like a one-time password for a website in order to like use the to watch the video to learn how to do it like so you can't just like give someone a link and the password and then they can do it like you have to like buy the stuff i mean with the chinese sticks um oh i thought these were instructions on the back but it's just what the trick is about so for the chinese sticks i'm pretty sure there was gonna be like paper instructions inside but if there's not i wouldn't be surprised because like this is such a cool trick i'm sure they would want to keep the instructions pretty secret so well i'll see you soon when i know how to do it hey everyone i learned how to do the chinese sticks trick this took a lot of practice. I'm just kidding. I didn't practice at all. And that's a very bad idea if you're a magician. You really need to practice. But it's getting late and I have to try and finish this video up. So I've got two sticks here and each one has a tassel coming out of it. You can grab the end and pull it back up then light it back down. But the neat part is if you grab right here you can pull the first one back up and that's okay and all like it's kind of obvious how i did it like most people assume there's like a secret string that runs through the back but nope no string now you're probably like oh sam there's invisible string you're a magician well if there was I wouldn't be able to like pass my head through it. I'm sorry, I don't have three hands. But yeah, I wouldn't be able to like pass my head through it. And yeah, she getting all tangled here. So yeah, that is the Chinese sticks illusion. It's a very neat trick. When I first saw the people demonstrate it at the magic store, they did a very good job. And I wish I could be as good as they are. So yeah, that is the Chinese sticks trick. Um, what else do I have in here? I'm forgetting what all I got. It's like Christmas. Speaking of Christmas, I hope you, everyone watching this, had a good Christmas. Um... Yeah, I just want to say Merry Christmas. And if you didn't have a good Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. Next year will be better. So, hmm. I'm not really going to, like, read this entire musical. Um... It is a follow-up to the sensational hit they want the eighties called well, They Want Their Magic Book Back. This time author Jonathan Friedman fuses his passion for close up magic with love for music. The result is a wacky and powerful collection of tricks all with the loose theme of music or bands. You don't require any affinity for music or interest in rock to enjoy this collection of card and close-up material. Instead, you'll enjoy the material through the 
enthusiastic eyes of an unbashed fan of 80s rock. I'm sorry, I sound like this, I need to burp. And it even, it even comes with a little guitar pick. That's cool, I'm learning how to play guitar. It's not going very well. Speaking of which, if you're, I tried to learn how to play guitar with Simply Guitar, not sponsored, and I don't want to be sponsored because like, it says free, but you only learn how to play like one chord for free. The rest of it is like, you had to pay like $130 to actually learn how to play songs and stuff. So, yeah. We're going to look at this Red Rover book by Dan Harlan. Never heard of him, but I've never heard of most magicians anyway. So, I don't know if it's like one trick or a bunch of tricks. Um, oh, it's one trick. And it even comes with a packet of cards for the trick. And yeah, I'll show you once I figure it out. Okay, so I looked ahead at the trick. And I can't do this trick yet. Because it, like I said, it came with nine specially marked cards cards. I'm not going to show you how they're marked, but you've also got to have a deck, a full deck that matches with the back design that matches these cards. So the general bicycle red cards should match these, and I don't know if I had that one. I should, because you know me if you're if you're subscribed if you haven't subscribed please subscribe anyway i really really like cards and have a lot of different decks of cards god i still need to burp i don't know why i hit myself that's child abuse two ways um anyway <laughs> I can't do this till I get home, and I might not even be able to do this one at all. I know I will do Profiteer. So if I can't do this trick when I get home, because if I don't have a matching deck, then I will just make the Profiteer thing into a YouTube short. But... If I do have a matching deck, then I'll make a part two. We'll see. So, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm just very distracted right now. I, my grandma made ice cream. So I'll see you later. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye!